Just look at him. He's a monster. He's so terrifying. How can anybody expect to ever kill that? Hello everybody, this is Lemonade. I am doing a custom campaign review of Attila's Rivals, where instead of playing as Attila in his campaign, you play as his enemies, and the role is reversed. There were six missions, each one is varying difficulty, but they are pretty fun and nice entertainment for new and old AoE players alike. Mission 1 Beginning the first mission, you start with a little camp with both Attila and his brother Bleda, who are about to depart on an epic boar hunt. But what would happen if Attila was to have a little accident. Hard problems require hard solutions, and with Attila dead, you have now completed the first mission. While that's the easy way out, the game and hints suggest that you should take the Tarkins you have at the start of the game and help ambush Attila using Bleda your archers and these Tarkins to attack him and gang up on him. The reason why is because Attila will beat Bleda and the archers if they attack him alone. And with a little help from the Tarkins, Attila the Han is once again dead. Now, Bleda the Han may be the one who won, but he's never seen again. I assume he became a pig farmer. Mission 2 Starting this scenario, we are playing as what would be the Eastern Roman Empire in a normal campaign. There are many allies all around the map, and only one enemy. Introducing all of them, there is... Nysus. Adrianople. Thessalonica. Thyahatrium. and Sophia. Also, I am introducing not Attila. Instead of Attila, we now have an imposter to fight. While the Scythians are here, they don't do much of note, and the Hans themselves, starting off as a little horde, will begin traveling around the map, attacking resources and villagers who are isolated from the others. While my allies are busy distracted playing a game of chase with a Tarkin, the Hans themselves are busy up in the north, preparing battering rams the siege down red, but thanks to these outposts, we'll get the drop on them. I never knew that every forest came with several men carrying explosives and a lot of wolves. After building a wall to protect my Michi, I mean allies, the Hans have begun attempting to convert my cab archers despite being a civilization with atheism. Even with the lack of a huge ocean, the AI has attempted to begin making naval vessels to fight me on land. I don't think the imposter was prepared for a castle to be shooting at his boats on the river. The invaders have been invaded. The Hans were unable to make an effective counter against my cab archer spam and will now have their town center destroyed. With no more villagers or town centers, it's about time for the Hans to surrender so that this scenario can end. And there we go, the Hans have surrendered. Next up is Mission 3. Mission 3. Beginning the scenario, the player has taken the place of Constantinople. We are looking to stop the Hans from gathering 10,000 gold, which is done naturally and by destroying markets, town centers, docks, and killing trade carts and trade cogs. The good news is, the hints do inform me that the Hans will start pretty weak. This trade cog may have a problem. Like the last map, you do have allies, but you only have two this time, being Philippopolis in the north, and Mercepopolis, who is significantly smaller and without walls, to the south. Seeing that the Hans are, again, a relative pushover, it is only kind to push when we have this many resources. They should stand no chance. After massacring some villagers, I have realized that there is now another imposter of Attila, now this one claiming to be Attila II. This Attila II must be a smart guy and invented a cloaking device because it seems I can't find the last villager I need to make him resign. With no more villagers left and only one building remaining, I've decided it was fitting to convert the last remaining building to win this scenario. Mission 4 
beginning mission four, we are now Orléans, a well-fortified city whose main goal is to defeat the Hans, as their main goal is to defeat us and our allies. Speaking of which, in the north we have the Red Mets, with a castle, and in the south, the Purple Burgundy. The Western Roman Empire is here, but they don't play much of a use. The Hans have a very weak start, and should be defeated with a good old cavalry rush. Using your larger base and superior Frankish knights, it is very easy to stop the Hans from making an economy at all to even fight against you in the first place. You thought it was a safe time to gather sheep? Not today. Attila II is a really determined fellow, isn't he? While the Hans put up a good fight, they just aren't able to match the output early on and stop the cavalry from raiding their economy, leading them to lose. Now on to the next scenario. Mission 5. Ah, the Catalonian fields, where everybody's favorite skull obsessed monk became a man. This time, we're playing as the Western Roman Empire. We have several allies, including the Franks, who consist of burning buildings, and they scout the green Visigoths and the Teal Allens. While we are now fighting the Noxus da Atala. The good news is that the Hans aren't lonely this time, as they have the Ostrogoths aiding them in this battle. Using the starting resources we have been given, we can probably construct more castles than there have ever been built in the world. I am sad to announce that after somebody ran into their buildings a couple times, the Franks have resigned. The good news is that we are pillaging the Ostrogoth base. The Ostrogoths cry out for help, but they won't be getting any, that's for sure. Even with three castles, the Ostrogoths were no match for my cataphrag army. And to the south, the Visigoths seem to be getting into some action with some help from the Alans up in the north. They are honestly doing a lot better than I thought they would be doing, considering that the other allies in this campaign so far have been pretty pathetic. I'm just so proud of the Visigoths and the Alans as they have basically killed the Hans all by themselves, and it's so amazing to see them just wiping them out left and right. And this scenario is about to end, I believe, as there are no more villagers. Wait, isn't the Noxus Attila just Attila? Mission 6. Here we have the final mission, where we play as Verona. And to the north we have the allies, Aklea. Moving down to purple we have... Green as Milan. And the Western Roman Empire all the way down here. No longer fighting Attila II's forces, we are now fighting Attila II himself. This is the best Hans performance I've seen the entire campaign. And look, what's this? Is that Attila II? Look at those stats. Just look at him. He's a monster. It's so terrifying. How can anybody expect to ever kill that? I'm just sending some light cab to see just how strong he is. And they're just not going to do anything but tickle him. Just look at that health. He's hardly losing anything at all. Those stats, it's absurd. It's insane. This is going to take a while. I know it. Arkley getting in on some of the action here with an army of scorpions and knights. Pawns have been defeated, but that's not how you win this scenario. You have to kill. Attila II, and somehow find a way to kill him. Even the heavy cab archers are just doing nothing, and he just shrugs it off. And his horse has rocket boots, they have to be. It just comes with being a space for an emperor, I guess. You could say I have an explosive plan. Time to begin Operation Aceus, and let's see how effective they're going to be. They are doing Hardly nothing but making a light ship. Well, that's just unfortunate. I decided to garrison my castle with tons of archers. This is just becoming a war of attrition with Attila. With his attention focused on the town center, this would be a good time to deal some damage without him attacking us. The attempt to capture him inside of a zoo enclosure has gone horribly wrong, but he seems to be getting stuck on the walls anyway, so he can be redeemed. Arrows firing from every direction, and even the archer getting in on some of the action. Attila, the Space Lord Emperor, has been killed. 
winning the mission. This was Attila Rivals campaign, very fun. Make sure to subscribe to it on Steam Workshop. Bye.